Pre-plans emergency scenarios are a proactive approach to be prepared for handling any unforeseen emergency. Potential hazard areas are identified in whole facility and credible emergency scenarios are developed. Emergency pre-planned scenarios are made to have awareness in peacetime, that what could go wrong in the facilities. These pre-planned scenarios are shared and practiced among the emergency response team members, which gives us opportunity to think and plan how to deal and control the emergency effectively in fastest time. This pre-planned scenario is, pressurized gas fire through a flange. Loss of containment of hydrocarbon gas occurred due to failure of a flange gasket in gas receiving area. Gas route from QP to Kafak. Gas line have 14 inch diameter and about 22 bar pressure. As gas continues to escape fire is spreading to affect the installation and other gas lines in this area. Protection from hazards and risks. While controlling the fire, there are certain risks during this activity, therefore during the fire combat action you have to have some control of risks in place. Main hazards and various degree of risks are, manual handling injuries, slip trips and falls, fumes of fire and unburned gas, toxic gases release out of fire, Potential of spreading of fire to adjacent installation. Fatigue and overexertion. Physical and medical condition of crew. Collision of vehicles and personal accident. Hazards associated with the product are. Highly flammable, NFPA health rating is 1, NFPA fire rating is 4. Direct exposure to this product may be suffocating, unburned residue leaking gas may accumulate and ignite violently. There might be some other risks which can come across out of abnormal situation. So be aware of potential hazards and risks and take measure for the safety of personnel engaged in the action. Action to control this type of emergency. Inform the emergency to MIC Control Center and CAFAC Management. Response with maximum resources available. Incident Commander shall establish command post in cold zone area. Take the shortest and nearest route, see the most appropriate route. Park the fire truck near the hydrant considering the wind direction keep always upwind. Fix up the water system from truck and local water hydrant network. Best way to control this type of fire is to isolate the gas supply. Contact to QP to stop the gas supply. Isolate the UV remotely. Cool the area, and also close local manual valve with the protection of water shield. After control of pressurized flame fire residue leaking gas may ignite again. Suppress the unburned leaking gas with water. Keep cooling the area until gas supply has completely isolated. Other important considerations. Protect yourself from the smoke and heat exposure use all necessary PPE. Keep yourself alert from any changing situation. Stay upwind with your resources. Environment Consideration With the control of fire, emergency handling response is not over until salvation has been completed. Consider to do the housekeeping, drainage and disposal of contaminated water, collection and disposal of contaminated sand decontamination of equipment and personnel.